ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Brian Peters here with you for this New Year's Day, January the 1st, 2009, Weather Extreme video, and Happy New Year. Let's get right to some Skycam images, and here's a look over Red Mountain from Birmingham. Just an absolutely beautiful shot this morning, and a gorgeous picture of Jasper as we see the Christmas lights there in the square, and uh, the sunrise coming, and uh, looking off to the west, we can see the lights of Talladega, and it looks like Lincoln up there, and uh, certainly a beautiful, beautiful morning, even though it's going to be a bit chilly this morning. High pressure off to our North and northeast is uh, keeping the weather beautiful down here, but notice there's a front down in the Gulf, and that front is going to be coming back north uh, later tonight and tomorrow and causing some uh, possible wet weather, although I don't think uh, there's going to be a lot of rain. The uh, upper pattern, the 500 millibar flow around 18,000 feet or so is uh, fairly flat, uh, and that's kind of causing a challenge for forecasters as to exactly what is going to happen. Temperatures this morning, actually not too bad. There's still a lot of cold air up there in Canada, and the uh, North Atlantic Oscillation is still indicating that we're going to be cold, and that certainly looks like what the is going to be happening here over the next week or so. A little closer to home, uh, temperatures generally running from uh, the lower 20s across uh, north Alabama and the north and central Alabama to the lower 30s, so quite a range of temperatures this morning on this crystal clear morning. QPF showing a rather wet start to 2009 as it looks like we're going to have rain uh, as a possibility over uh, after today over much of central Alabama with uh, a bullseye of around 2.2 uh, inches uh, a little bit uh, south of uh, probably in the vicinity of Selma or a little south of uh, Centerville and, um, and Clanton in uh, Chilton County. All right, let's get to the 068 GFS model run. And here is the surface pattern for today. Uh, the high is going to settle in uh, onto the Carolina coast, and that's going to allow uh, southerly flow to return gradually. And with that southerly flow, we're going to see moisture increase. And it looks like, you know, we could see some chances for rain on Friday. Uh, and, of course, we've got to be watching, too, uh, depending on how fast this moisture returns. Uh, temperatures could be a, an issue uh, with the possibility uh, of a little uh, freezing, a light freezing precipitation, especially in the east central part of the state uh, tomorrow morning. But we'll be watching that. And I'm not, I'm not putting that in the forecast right now, but uh, something we will certainly be watching as a small feature. 500 millibar pattern, uh, we finally begin to eject out a little short wave uh, across eastern Oklahoma and eastern Texas uh, on Saturday. And that's uh, going to help to generate a little surface low that will bring a front our way on uh, Saturday. And right now, the GFS is not showing a lot of rain for the first half of Saturday, but probably the rain chances picking up during the day. That little short wave uh, zips through the flow to the northeast, getting up over the Great Lakes, and that brings the front into the area. But as we've seen with that southwesterly flow, it means that the front can't get very far through the area, so it seems to stall out. The next trough begins to influence us on Monday, so there's going to be a little bit of a break in there, and that um, is uh, going to generate a bit of a surface low potentially down in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. So we'll certainly be watching the timing on that. And uh, that trough and the uh, northern uh, flow begin to phase a little bit as the trough begins to establish itself. And this is something we've uh, the GFS has been pretty consistent with, and now it, uh, it looks like it's going to be happening. And that takes the surface low uh, up a little to the northeast of us and uh, certainly should dry us out by Tuesday. And that uh, is when the trough really digs into the eastern half of the country. And look at those thickness values. They dive uh, 540 line now down around uh, the vicinity of uh, Birmingham, Clanton. And uh, also it looks like some moisture coming with that, and that could be some uh, light wintry precipitation. But that's uh, almost a week out, so it's something we'll certainly watch, and the GFS has been consistent with that. By 180 hours or Thursday, a week from today, uh, the trough is off to the east, but of course that's going to keep us fairly chilly as the surface high settles in and we uh, definitely dry out by Thursday. And uh, we're not, we're still, uh, we're on the edge of voodoo. Here comes another trough in the flow coming out of the uh, uh, western states or the out of the Rockies, uh, and that could bring another 
batch of precipitation our way around the, the 9th, especially late in the day. And that also brings in a trough that's pretty significant by Saturday the 10th, and there is quite an interesting winter weather event uh, all the way from the southeast all the way up into uh, the mid-Atlantic states. But remember, this is still voodoo, and uh, so we're going to still watch the details of what's going to be happening. Uh, and that continues to keep the trough set up. Here's Monday the 12th. Uh, over the eastern half of the country, and that certainly is a rather cold pattern. Look at the 540 line digging all the way down to the Gulf Coast in the vicinity of Mobile. And then by the end of the period, uh, the 16th, uh, the GFS is suggesting that the, the trough stays in the, uh, the long wave trough stays positioned over the eastern half of the country, but it certainly flattens out. And uh, that would mean then that uh, we're going to stay uh, probably at or slightly below normal temperatures for uh, this time of year, the averages that we would normally expect. Well, thanks for tuning in. Certainly hope that 2009 will be a happy and prosperous one for everyone. Appreciate you tuning in to the uh, Weather Extreme video. Should have the next one posted by uh, 7.38 tomorrow morning. Have a great New Year's Day and Happy New Year.